Hello guys, welcome to Thailand vlog number eight. This is a continuation on from the last vlog, so if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. But we woke up this morning on Bottle Beach and actually decided to watch the sunrise, so that is pretty much where this vlog starts. Honestly, I still stand by this. This is one of my favorite beaches that we visited in all of Thailand. from literally paradise on earth. This is where we slept last night. And this, this is where I am now that I've woken up. Just swinging on a hammock on the front porch with the ocean at the side of us. And I feel genuinely so, so happy. Everything is awesome. <laughs> we trying to have a deep moment, Tom singing the Lego movie. But it is just so, so stunning. We woke up at sunrise again. Tom and I have been doing this thing where we sleep with the curtains open, kind of for two reasons. One, because it's nice to be naturally woken up. Two, because I'm scared to close the curtains in case there's bits <laughs> no, inside them. That the is, yeah, that is the main but reason. But it is nice to wake up to like brightness. Yeah, it's like, like, like a natural alarm. Yeah. So we came out once it was light and uh, walked down the beach as you saw, and now we've just got back. I'm in the hammock and I am trying to finish reading this book. I brought two books out here with me. Hammock time. Tom's feeling giddy giddy this morning. I brought two books because I'm halfway through this one and I was like I don't want to not finish it but then I haven't had time to read since we got here but I think on the south tour there's going to be a lot more free time to like chill, read my book and stuff and I'm hoping that I finish it so that I can leave it because it's really heavy um, so that's kind of bulky to carry around. How this tour works is that every single person gets like a room of two so there's no like dorm style hostels it's just like two to a room because all of the places are quite like this like rather than a hostel they're like oh look at this it's like a a wooden resort on the beach kind of vibe it's been like that the whole time if you are interested in coming as i mentioned i will leave true travel link down below and this specific tour that we're doing down below I completely forgot my point that i was making no about the book so at the front of this there was the restaurant that we were in last night the like beach bar and at the side they have a little library trolley of books that people that have traveled here have left behind which i actually think is really interesting really nice and if i was jack edwards i'd read them all in a day and do a video about it but alas i'm not going to do that but i might leave mine there if i can finish it today so we shall see just had a very very nice breakfast of poached egg and beans on toast with a side of pineapple and watermelon we are just going back to the room to get our trainers on because we are going for a hike this morning up to the viewpoint here on Bottle Beach, which is quite famous in Thailand. So hopefully you're gonna get some good views and some good footage. Look at this for uh, mountaineering. Whoa, you still make it look Wait, cute are we though. Going down? Yeah, down here. Dear me, this is so dangerous. Tell him to stop. Oh, Tom! <laughs> oh, God, he's going to the end! <laughs> I literally can't even look. Can't even look. <laughs> Guys, look at how steep this is. This is the forest. Like, we're so high up, it's ridiculously dangerous. But it is beautiful. The Bottle Beach viewpoint is an absolute must do, although it is not for the faint hearted. It's very steep, it's very high up. And if you do have a fear of heights, I'm probably gonna say give this one a miss. I did struggle a little bit, although I am really glad I did it because it was just incredible. The views out across the island and over across the jungle and even just out to sea were all just something that you would see on a postcard. This was one of my favorite mornings. And if you are gonna do it, I definitely recommend doing it as early as possible because obviously it does get very, very hot if and you humid. Feel I will be here and wait for the sun It's getting closer but it will never end It's done Here by the ocean fire is burning Flares in the wind We are here at a Mai Tai place and we're going to all be having a Mai Tai lesson. Apparently this is going to be quite difficult. I've never done it before, don't know anything about it. I'm wearing the most ridiculous outfit as well because all of my sports stuff was at the bottom of my bag. So I've got on a sports bra but I didn't know that we were coming straight here so I don't have the right shorts on really to do this but it's fine. Basically I think this is kind of like kickboxing if you've never done it before. I think you get up in a ring and it's like kickboxing kind of vibes but I'm just not really sure if this is going to be very me but I am happy to give it a go. I'm going to try and we'll see. I used to skip 
Right. Because it's a very good, very boppy. boppy, yeah. So my tie was something I was really excited to try, although it's no secret that I am not that fit. I was willing to give it my best shot, and actually, I did really enjoy it. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Get that vlog. The only thing I will add is that this does actually require quite a lot of stamina, and we were doing this in 36 degree heat, so just bear that in mind. If you are planning on coming to Thailand soon, or even if you're already out here, I definitely recommend booking a Mai Tai class, even just to try it. Like, a total beginner workshop is a lot of fun, and this clip cracks me up because it looks like I'm just kicking Tom repetitively and, like, trying to punch him in the face, but I promise this was an amicable fight. Thai lesson and it was very sweaty, very hot, but it was quite fun. But I don't know if I'll do it again in a hurry because um, I'm just not cut out for the athletic life. Welcome to Tiki Beach. This is another gorgeous beach on Koh Phangan Island. We are still on the same island off the south coast of Thailand, but this one is a lot, lot bigger of a beach. It goes on for quite a long way. Look at these palm trees. Look at that windsurfer. Very, very excited to be spending three days here. This feels like a really gorgeous resort to you. Just relax in. Hopefully you can hear the sea noise behind me because it is just so peaceful, so quiet. And we put a place to ourselves as well because it's still really quiet in Thailand at the moment. Which... Okay, you fully cannot hear what I'm saying. In the rest of this clip, guys, the wind noise was crazy, but I was basically explaining how we had three days to kind of relax on Tiki Beach and we were going on an excursion the next day to do some snorkeling and spend the day on a boat, that kind of thing and that we were going for food. That was that was what you missed here. We are at the Koh Phan Yang night food markets and I am so excited about this. There is food in literally every direction that you look and also other stalls as well. <gasps> Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just narrating my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> There's like so much. I don't even know where to start. Guys, this is the first place that I've seen since I got here that is a specifically vegetarian and vegan only stand. I'm actually really impressed with this. I think it's because it's kind of like a hippie, kind of a bit more westernized island, but like very, very happy with this. A very strange night. I'm not gonna lie, wow this shelf is perfectly placed although a little bit wonky but we'll deal with it. Basically we ended up at like this, I don't even know how you would describe it, a rave I guess. We basically we were at this beach rave, we didn't know we were gonna go, basically two of the people in the group were like oh we found this beach bar, we're gonna head here, we were like maybe we'll join you, maybe we won't, we decided we would. Got there, I was like this is the strangest thing I've ever been to, like it was just the oddest mix of people, it was like people that were clearly here on gap years mixed with like 50 year old people. Nothing wrong with that, it was just the oddest combination of people in one room that I'd ever seen but also it wasn't in a room, it was on the beach and the music was just pure house music but also like it was just very odd, it was like a hybrid between a nightclub, a festival, a beach party, a pool party, mix a lot of drugs into it but just like there was a lot going on. That was a lot going on. Anyway, I'm gonna pick you guys up in the morning. Tomorrow, I'm so excited actually. We have a whole day of excursions on a boat plan. So we've got a boat trip for the entire day. And basically we're just gonna get on this boat and go snorkeling, kayaking, sunbathing, eating. It's just gonna be a really, really fun day. We are still here on Koh Phan Yang for another two days. So I'm very, very excited to show you what we get up to, but welcome to Tiki Beach. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. I'm very excited. Good morning. Today I have on the world's smallest bikini. Uh, don't know if this will be very secure for very long and I'm not going to wear this on the boat trip but we're not leaving on the boat trip until 1pm so we have a free morning really at Tiki Beach and I'm pretty excited about that. 
two reasons. One, I've got quite a bit of work to catch up on. It means I can just sit outside, chill. There's a lot of like tables by the pool that are like actual tables you could sit at and like work. Um, and also, I want some days. I want to explore. I want to walk down the beach a little bit. This sunburn looks horrific. That's why I put this bikini on because I'm hoping that I can like tan the bits that just clearly got missed the other day. We are going on a boat trip excursion today, as I mentioned. But before we do that, we're going to go and have breakfast. And the menu at this hotel. This is our spot for breakfast this morning. I've definitely, definitely had worse. We just ordered up here. I've gone for a smoothie bowl. The only downside is, guys, I have been bitten so badly in the night. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I've got the biggest mosquito bites. I seem to, yeah, really attract them, which never used to happen. And I know that I shouldn't itch them, but... Okay, but this acai bowl looks incredible. I'm so glad I've got, like, a healthy breakfast. We've been having a lot of 7-Eleven breakfast because we've been travelling a lot across breakfast time, but this looks bloody phenomenal and the coffee isn't bad either tom's also looks so bloody good he's gone for potato hash this is like worst isn't it yeah it is also uh we're doing our laundry today aren't we and we've both ran out of like every item of clothing that we've brought with us oh thank you is it good mm. Mm. oh my god Stop it, that tastes like a roast dinner yeah. <laughs> oh i want a roast dinner We are about to go on our boat excursion day trip. I'm very excited for this. We're going snorkeling. Apparently you can see turtles here, which I'm so excited about because I love turtles. And I actually really like snorkeling when it's like really nice water like this. So I'm very excited. Got this little bikini cover up on. This is just from ASOS. It's like just a button up bodysuit. No, not bodysuit, play suit. gonna bring my GoPro guys, hopefully you're gonna see some of this footage. If not, it means the GoPro ended up at the bottom of the ocean. Okay. Wish us luck. So I feel like I can now safely say, having finished my tour with True Travels when I'm voicing this over, that this was my favourite excursion of all of them. This day on the boat was just incredible. I absolutely love snorkelling. This was such a lovely experience with Tom as well because he'd actually never snorkeled before. So getting to see all these really cool fish and marine life together was so, so lovely. And the atmosphere was just one of my favourites on this whole tour. When we went back up onto the boat, we actually watched the sunset over Koh Panyang. We stayed on the boat for a couple of hours, just listening to music, vibing, dancing, and honestly just having a really wholesome time. Everybody was so lovely, which made the end of this day like one of the stand-up memories in my mind because everyone was just getting on and singing together. It was so much fun. Now I'm the king of the swingers, Find I hope this ain't a lie Cause I'm vibing with all we have Yeah, I'm feeling what we are now guys today is our final morning here in Koh Phan Yang um, we are actually heading from here to Katao so this vlog will probably end pretty soon because I think I'm gonna do that as a separate vlog but I thought I would just vlog us going for breakfast Tom and I have got up quite early this morning uh, whenever we have like a half free day we've decided that we just like to get up go for breakfast quite early try and make the most of the day spend a bit of time together I know it sounds ridiculous because obviously we're spending the whole time together but when you're on a group tour it does become very like social and you're spending all your time with all the people which is 
amazing. That's what I love about Greek tours. But obviously, it's nice to spend some time together too. So here is Thomas. Hello. We're going for breakfast at a place called the Coffee House or something like that. Um, just kind of near the hostel, to be honest. Hotel. This one's definitely a hotel. It's really nice. It's like a resort. Like yeah, a... I really, really like where we stayed yeah. here in Copenhagen. It's probably my favourite place we've stayed. It just feels like a little community. Yeah. You know, like everyone's in like this little area and you look across and in the morning everyone's like out and it's like you've got their little neighbours. It's really nice and also it's all nice. the staff are really lovely as well, which I definitely think at home. Now look at that for a westernised option. Is this Starbucks? I'm gonna get pancakes, I think. This menu is great. Although now I'm here, I'm like, do I want something like, I don't know, overnight oats? No. <laughs> Toast with peanut butter and jam. Definitely don't want a full English style breakfast. I think I might go for banana and maple syrup pancakes. Wow, well, this is this is the first place I've seen milk alternatives as an option on the menu, and we've been here for three weeks. I've not seen that anywhere else. Look at how good these look guys, I've gone for banana and maple syrup, the banana is baked into the pancake which I love, Tom's gone for chocolate sauce, very American pancakes but probably the best we've had. Should we call this a happy birthday breakfast? I'll get this, it's Tom's birthday in two days time. Uh, we're going to the Pee Pee Islands on his birthday but it's a lot of travelling so we're kind of like don't really know what's going to be occurring. This is your birthday breakfast. end this vlog here i can't even remember what number vlog we're on is this i think it's seven it's just going so quickly i'm just gonna split them up a bit more because i kind of want to do like a different vlog for each island that we visit so i hope you have enjoyed it it's kind of the first look at like island living we are heading today from Copenhagen to katao if you don't know anything about thailand this will mean nothing to you two weeks ago this would have meant nothing to me so thank you so so much for watching this vlog i hope you have enjoyed it if you have do give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below i'm also going to have put all of the thailand vlogs into a playlist so if you haven't caught up on the others it should be super easy for you to find them i'll link that down below as well plus there will be a link to the tour that we're doing i know i'm getting a lot of questions about that so i am currently traveling with true travels i mentioned it a few times in this vlog so that link will be down below as well don't forget to check it out if you are interested and i shall see you in my next one where we shall be heading to katao bye guys <laughs>